Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Yang Yang Table Tennis Tutorials. Today is the Junior Life Force 2020. Happy New Year! I wish you all have a peace, love, health, and happiness in 2020. Today, I'm going to make a product review video on the butterfly rubbers, which are Diganex 05, Diganex 64, and Diganex 80. I've got many questions that people ask me, what's the difference among those three rubbers? Here, I'm going to share my reviews with you. I've been using Diganex 05 on my both side since April 2019. I have to say, it does last longer than Tanagy 05. Here is my racket. Diganex 05 on both sides and the blade is Mizutanian ZLC. Also, I have a Diganex 64 and 80 with me. Consider the different rubber will affect the text. So I would put those two rubbers, Diganex 64 and Diganex 80 on my Mizutanian Super ZLC blade. The first feature that I wanted to test on these three rubbers is speed. Butterfly provides us the three speed numbers towards the different rubbers here, which means Diganex 64 is the fastest one. Diganex 80 comes next, and the Diganex 05 is the slowest. While in this video, I wanted to try my way to say if those numbers work for me. I will use the same stroke and I try to control my strength at the same strength when I play each rubber. Then I will edit the videos together to compare which rubber will make the ball travel faster. From the comparison video about those three rubbers' speed performance, Dignex 05 is the slowest one to me, while Dignex 64 and Dignex 80 has almost the same speed. But if we watch it carefully, Dignex 80 is slightly faster than Dignex 64. The second feature that I wanted to compare these three rubbers is power. First, I will stand in the same place, close to the table, to do a regular topspin with those three different rubbers. And then we will check where the ball lands on the table. We could tell from the comparison picture, when I used the Dignix 64, the ball travels the longest on the other side of the table, while Dignix 80 comes next, and the 05 is the shortest. Before making any conclusion, I also wanted to try the power performance on my smash. Let's see how it goes.
From this, we could make a conclusion that Dignix 64 would suit for player who stays far or middle distance, while Dignix 05 is for whom like to stay close to the table. The next feature I wanted to test on is ARC. How ARC looks differently when I stay far from the table to do a counter loop. From the picture, we can tell Dignix 05 generates the highest arc, and Dignix 64 generates the lowest arc and travels the furthest, while Dignix 80 is in between. Since Dignix 05 generates the highest arc, it could easily help me loop the heavy on the spin ball and produce a spinning loop. While using Dignix 64 to loop, you have to swing up more in order to get the ball over the net, but it produces a faster loop. Personally, I like Dignix 80 the best on the loop performance because it has more control, easy to loop with a spin and a power, and the arc is not too high or too low. Here comes the spin. Spin is kind of hard to show the difference, so I will just give you my personal opinions on this. During the push, I feel Dignix 05 gripped the ball the best and the easiest. The dwell time is the longest as well. And when using Dignix 64, I feel the dwell time is much shorter compared to Dignix 05 and Dignix 80. Overall, Dignix 05 could help me easily control the short game, and Dignix 80 comes next. Dignix 64 suits for faster and powerful planning style. It blocks the ball faster and lower. It may be harder to control when you stay close to the table, but better in control when you stay far or middle distance from the table. Dignix 05 is better on loop and a short game, generates a more spin and higher egg, helps you easily loop the heavy on the spin ball. Dignix 80 is more like an all round. It is more bouncing and powerful to me. Sweet, that's all for today's product review video. I hope you will have a better understanding about those three different rubbers after watching this video. And I also hope you will have the good experience planning those three rubbers. But the most important thing is, always looking for the rubbers that matches you the most. Try the rubbers yourself and feel it if you really like it or not. I hope you can find the one that suits you the most. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. 
don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and share like this video. I will see you in my next video. Happy New Year! Bye-bye!